On this week's episode of Wingle's Woodshop, I build an ulu knife from an old saw blade. Let me start things off by saying that I don't know anything about metalwork or knife making. So please don't take this as an instructional or a tutorial. This is really a build that I did just for fun. To design this knife, I looked at other ulu knives and combined aspects that I liked from different ones. This way it's somewhat original. Here's the idea I came up with. With the template design finished, I started out by enlarging the hole in the middle of the saw blade. This way I could use it as the finger hole that's in the grip of the knife. With the hole finished being drilled, I then traced out the template onto the blade. Since I'm pretty inexperienced when it comes to cutting metal, I wanted to make sure that I prioritize safety. I was actually hesitant at first to use gloves when doing this, even though it recommended it because I was just scared to use gloves around a spinning wheel. But after trying it out, it was very clear that I needed gloves. It would have been nice if before starting this project, I had some scrap metal to practice cutting on, but that just wasn't the case. It actually ended up pretty good. I did make a few mistakes, but nothing that I wasn't able to correct in the long run. Now that I had the knife roughed out, I wanted to get the wooden handle pieces cut out and glued up so that they'd be ready to go once I finished shaping the metal. For the handle, I decided to use four species of wood. Some maple, some walnut, some purple heart, and then some kind of spalted wood that I'm really not sure what it is. The glue up was more difficult than I had anticipated and I think the reason for that is I'd never glued up something with such a small footprint before. Every time I would try to apply a clamp, the wood would kind of just slide around, but I got it figured out. With the handle glue up out of the way, it's time to get the sander out so I could finish shaping the body of the knife. When you sharpen a chisel, you only sharpen one side and then you leave the back side of the chisel flat. And since chisels are the only thing that I have experience with sharpening, I decided I would do the knife in similar fashion. Leave the back side flat and then sharpen the front edge to come up and meet that flat back side. I picked up some all-purpose Gorilla Glue Epoxy from Home Depot and I'll be using this to attach the wood to the metal.
Once the epoxy finished drying, I used a combination of my bandsaw and some hand tools to trim the wood down and make it flush with the body of the knife. I realized that if I placed the original template over the wood and traced it out, I would know where to cut the wood flush to the metal. Here I'm using a chisel to slowly taper the wood down to the metal. I used files and sandpaper to finish shaping the handle the way I wanted it. While I was shaping the handle, I noticed that in one of the corners where the wood met the metal, it didn't quite adhere. So here I am fixing that problem. I've never installed cutlery rivets before, but I knew I wanted them in the handle. So I ordered some off Amazon, and here I am marking out where I'm going to put them. For some reason, the drill bit that I needed to use was bent, so here I am straightening it out before I drill the hole. I was a little nervous to install the cutlery rivets because if I messed up and destroyed the handle, it would borderline scrap the project or make for a ton of extra work. So instead of using a drill bit to recess the heads of the rivets, I did it by hand. I destroyed one rivet in the process of this because I used the same rivet to do all the markings, which is fine because I ordered extra. It was a bit time consuming, but I was happy with the results and I didn't destroy the handle. I placed three or four pieces of tape over the face of the hammer so that when I'm installing the rivets, it wouldn't mark them up. Here I'm giving the blade one last sharpen. And let me reiterate, I don't know anything about sharpening knives, so probably don't steal my technique. If you enjoyed the process of watching this knife build, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, hit that notification bell. Thanks again.